Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing my June crafty stash. Now, June is a special month to me. It's my birthday month, so I thought I would pull out a collection that I super duper love, but also that I have way too much of, and try to use some of it. It's perfect for summer. It is the Amy Tan on a Whim collection. This was from last year, but you guys, I think I've mentioned it before. I am such an overbuyer, it's ridiculous. Um, I loved this collection so much last year. I still do, but I bought like two of everything and maybe even three of some things, I think. I don't know, I had a lot more stuff <laughs> as I was pulling all this stuff together than I realized. So we're gonna be using this collection for June and I'm totally okay with it. Um, I love Amy Tangerine products. I love the colors she uses. I love the, like her style. She's an amazing person. I got to meet her in January. And you guys, if you ever have the chance to meet Amy Tan, go do it because she is even sweeter and kinder in person than you imagine her to be, which is crazy. But anyway, let me go ahead and stop fangirling and show you guys the massive amount of products I have to use. So I'm going to be primarily using this whole collection. I did pull in a few other little things here and there, but you guys, I have so much of this collection, it's not even funny. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have this little container. This is full of journal cards and there are some die cuts in here as well. But I also have a whole new pack of the die cuts too. <laughs> so yeah, so just get ready for this kind of nonsense, okay? Because that's the kind of video this is. Um, it's ridiculous. So I'm going to try to use up this stuff first before I open the new one so we can kind of have a better gauge of how much of this stuff I actually use. Um, I also have a bunch of stickers. So these are cut aparts from like chipboard stickers and then there are also some like clear stickers in here. This whole thing is nothing but stickers which is insane. Um, some of these are from an older Amy Tan collection, like the little arrows and these little guys and this little doodad, but the colors went and they are very sunshiny and happy, so I thought they went well. How cute is that, right? Um, so not only do I have all of these stickers, <laughs> uh, uh, I also have this brand new sticker book, which has all those stickers so I have a whole new one of these but again we're gonna try to use these up first okay um, I also have this pack these are the chipboard stickers that I just talked about having some of in here oh my gosh and then I have a whole nother pack of clear stickers again some of which are repeats in here I told you guys I bought so much of this collection and um, I have this really pretty gold foil pineapple acetate ombre sheet. It's gorgeous. I think I bought like two of these maybe last year. I think I wound up using one and I still have a brand new one left. Um, this is the paper pad. I did use up some of it as you can see, but there's still a ton left. Um, they are not double-sided, but there are a ton of cut aparts in here. And then I also have a ton of these scraps. So I have a bunch of six by six papers that I cut down last year year I think there's you know bits of scrap pieces like half size sheets from the paper pad I have a lot of those um yeah and I think some of the papers like this one I had bought the full size like regular single sheets because I loved popsicle patterns so much so some of these might be some of those I don't know we'll find out Usually the singles are double-sided, so they're kind of easier to tell. And then I also went through my scrap bin and pulled a whole bunch more, like just regular scraps that I thought would go. So I have no shortage of paper here, which is fine by me. So we're gonna get real busy with some crafting, you guys, in June. So I hope that you're ready for a whole bunch of summertime happy color goodness, because I'm all about that. So those are all the papers. These are most of the stickers, more stickers, ephemera, more ephemera, and then I did pull a few other things, so let me grab those real quick. All right, so I have these Amy Tan alphas from a past collection. I think it's the Oh Yes one. Again, I thought the colors would really go, and while I do have some alphas that would match the On A Whim collection, I wanted to try to use some of these since they are Amy Tans and I have not used them yet. And I thought, again, that they would go. Um, I have this little pouch full of like tiny word phrase sticker things. So 
Just trying to maybe use some of these up if I can. If not, it's not a big deal. I'm not going to be upset about it, but I thought, you know what? The colors, some of these would really go, so why not throw these into the mix? So I have a lot of products to work with this month, which I'm really excited about. And then these are like the only kind of embellishy thing that I have other than like the die cuts and things that already come in the collection. So apparently I had bought three of these packets because each one only comes with one camera and I have two cameras. So yeah, so I'm going to try to use these ones up first before I open this one. I have my little sequin mixer thing some washi tapes so all of these and this one are from the on a whim collection so again i pulled them because they're gonna go and i would like to try to use them up and then this black and white one i'm moving forward from last month's stash because it's almost empty and i really want to use it up and there is some black accents throughout the on a whim um i pulled a crap ton of sequin sparkly goodness because i wanted to try to do like maybe some like monochrome sequin mixes so maybe one that's like all blues you know maybe one that's all pinks or all greens or something so i pulled a few of each color that was in the collection and i thought i could maybe use as well as some gold ones a few different glitters because I really enjoyed how I used them last month. So I thought I could try to find another way to use them this month. Did I already talk about the ribbon? I don't know. It has pineapples on it and they're gold. So I had it, so I pulled it. And then I kind of wanted to take a break from trying to use up like my little remnants of enamel dots and jemmies. So I pulled out some of these ones. These sheets are from Amazon. They come in a huge pack. I think there's like 20 something sheets of all different colors for like 10 or 11 dollars these are my favorite they are so amazing i love how they go from like tiny to like a decent large size like they're not massive like i love that so again i will link these down below for you guys in case you're interested so i have a, like a dark blue a lighter blue a pink that i thought would go well kind of like this light green color a yellowy orange and then some black so these are all the colors in the collection and i thought they would all go very nicely so that is everything i am working with this month i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see how i use all of this stuff uh, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my videos because i'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff and i know you guys don't want to miss that that is it for today thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye